Hey, God bless you, Rob Wood here. I want to do a response to a video many of you have seen on YouTube where it basically says, overweight guy asks for help. Come on, people, let's rally around this young man. Let's help him. You know, friend, I just want to employ you, Robert. My name's Robert also. The reality is the best thing you could have done is what you already have done. You have reached out for help. You have admitted to yourself this is beyond you. And that's really the truth, my friends. What the Bible clearly says, when we are weak, he is strong. It's the grace the mercy and the compassion of God that enables us to serve Him. Now, obviously, you figured out by now I'm a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm coming on here because Robert has asked for help from the medical community, from doctors, uh, the television show, The Biggest Loser. But I want to implore him personally to ask God for help because the reality is the Bible clearly says when we are weak, he is strong. So I want to do another show where I release prayer for him. I want him to also ask for spiritual help. You know, the reality is, friends, God's not going to do it for you. He, will, he is going to do it with you. You know, when we add our natural to God's super, God is the God of the supernatural, my friends. So you do what you're supposed to. You reach out with your hand. The Lord will reach up with his hand. He'll pull you up through his grace, through his mercy. I want to employ you, friend, to have a vision. The Bible says without a vision, without a plan, without a goal, the people perish. If you could start to see internally and envision yourself as thin and move towards that goal, because the Bible says as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So again, you, you know, you've admitted this is beyond you. That's not necessarily a bad place to be because you're reaching out, you're looking for help, and I'm believing within six months an absolute supernatural miraculous report of the of at least two to three hundred pounds of weight loss. How is it going to happen? It's going to happen through prayer, and then it's also going to happen where you start to do for yourself and accept yourself and love yourself. The Bible clearly says to love your neighbor as you love yourself. When you have a healthy love for yourself and a healthy respect for yourself and you are happy with yourself, that's when the, whatever has caused you to get out of control with this weight problem, that's when whether you reach for bad food, you'll start to reach for good food. It's certainly not going to come through starving yourself. Hey, God bless you, Rob Wood or Rob Wood's Ministries. Agree with me in prayer over Robert. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I'm praying for this young man. I'm asking for a miracle, Lord. I've seen in his eyes he's desperate. He's on his last leg. Father, unless he gets a miracle, the reality is, you know, we, we, we don't want to speak that. But the reality is, Lord, touch him, help him, fill him with faith and hope. Robert, in the book of Jeremiah, the Bible says he has a plan for your life, a plan for a hope and a future. I'm asking you to call upon the Lord Jesus, invite him into your heart as your Lord and Savior. Some of you, may, some of you out there may not like this spiritual advice, but the reality is, friends, is we all need the Lord Jesus. We all need God in our lives. We're without him we really cannot live because the Bible says it's Christ that strengthens us. It's Christ in us. It's Christ on us. Hey, God bless you, Rob Wood or Rob Wood's Ministries. i got many other videos on YouTube via YouTube, preaching, teaching the gospel of Jesus Christ to search Rob Wood 1. Check them out. God bless you in Jesus' name.